Astronauts moving in slow motion is another hallmark of the Apollo TV footage. There is no evidence at all of any astronaut making a leap or a jump anywhere near a height commensurate with 1 6th G possibilities. But if they were actually simulating EVAs on Earth, they would then need help with their bulky heavyweight suits and backpacks in order to achieve the visual effect of moving around easily in lunar gravity. So enter wire supports. This is a tried and tested way of relieving weight from performers or even flying an actor. Here is a sequence from one of our own productions. Excuse me, will I need a car? Oh, oh, yeah! Relax, Chris. We're only making a short journey back to 1969, to the beginning of units. Of course, confirmation that wires were used is in the detail. Here in this Apollo 14 footage, you can see a ping, a momentary glint. And again, run slowly. And once more. There are other examples too. This one is from Apollo 17 during the flag scene. You can see the ping at the top of the frame. In this footage from Apollo 16, we have telltale evidence of a slightly floating or dangling effect at the jump salute location. It's as if the weight is being taken off the astronaut's feet just a second or so too soon. Compare that sequence with an obvious rehearsal rig. The dangling effect is very evident. And here again, from the same mission, Apollo 16, we have an astronaut who is about to get up. Come here. Okay, here we go. Let me give you a hand, he says. Look at it again. The astronaut is getting up with the wire taking the weight, relieving him of five-sixths of the Earth's gravity. A magic trick? No, just the help of a wireman. This is a slow motion jump that would have been seen live on TV. And here it is at normal speed. The well-rehearsed, pre-recorded material was apparently slowed down by 50% when we saw it on TV. And yes, we've done the necessary work to establish that percentage.